Hi there. So in this video, we are going to take a look at cubes in C sharp. So this type of collection is first in first out collection. You can add item into it using in queue and remove using DQ. So let's take a look at that. First thing, create C sharp console project in Visual Studio and you will have empty solutions such as this. Now inside static void main method, I want you to type Q. So simply select from here, then let's say I create object with name QT, then new Q. Okay, once you create that, go for QT dot in Q. So simply use that. And I want to add character within my Q, let's say A. And I'm going to repeat that for at least four characters. Okay, so we add B, C, and then D. Okay, now in order to iterate through this queue, we make use of for each group. So let's use for each within bracket. I will call for character. Let's say CT in our QQT. You can also simply use single for character C instead of CT and then use console dot right line. Okay, and simply give it your character. Okay. So character will be outputted starting from ABCD instead of your typical stack where you get in reverse where last element in stack gets access first. In Q, however, you have first element gets accessed first. Okay, so that's how Q works. So let's take a look at that. Let me execute. And as you can see, first element added will be accessed first. In stacks, you will find that D will be first displayed, then C, then B and A. So with Q, we get first in, first out type of collection. And you can remove any particular element using QT.DQ. Okay. So when we output one, then we will DQ, then so on. Okay, so we can check that out. And it will only output one because rest will be DQ'd in that queue. Okay, so you get the idea of how to create a queue, how to enqueue an element to add it in it and use DQ to remove from it. Okay, so this was DQ class in C sharp collection. 